Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Roberts and Wesley Kids Worship. My name is Reverend Karen, and as always, I am so happy to be with you this day, knowing that God is with us no matter where we are, even if we are apart, as long as we're gathered together, knowing that we want to praise God and worship God, that God is present with us. So we're going to begin with passing the peace, and so the way we do this is to look at one another. I'm going to say the peace of Christ be with you and you would respond with and also with you. So the peace of Christ be with you. Thank you. As always we like to start with a, a song to get ourselves all ready for worshiping and it's another way of praising God together. And so we're going to sing a song called I am walking a path of peace. And so the the words are very simple says, I am walking a path of peace. I am walking a path of peace. I am walking a path of peace. Lead me home, lead me home. And then each time we do it, we can say that we're walking a path of something else. And so as I go through this, I hope you have some instruments at home where maybe you can play along, feel free to dance. I'd love for you to sing with me um, as we get to know the song together. <laughs> where we will be acknowledging and honoring and taking time to remember as this is leading us up to Remembrance Day, which is on Thursday. And I hope that you will all take time to, to sit and remember. Uh, we're going to do that in church today as well at 1030 at our other service where we're going to do an act of remembrance where we will take some time in silence to remember, where we will lay a wreath in honor of the people who who worked very hard for all of us to have freedom. So they made a, a sacrifice for us. They laid down their lives for us. Um, in faith, we remember how Jesus also sacrificed himself for us. Now, Jesus did this because Jesus wanted us to have the kind of life that God intended, one where all people are loved and cared for and respected. Um, in a lot of cases with the world wars, people were fighting to make sure that people didn't lose their freedom so that people weren't hurt unnecessarily. And, and though we really, as people of faith, don't want to enter into wars, we know that people did, um, which is why we still honor it in the church and we remember. Really, Jesus taught us about uh, a path when dealing with conflict that we would 
Instead, do it in a way that was not violent, that we would do it because we were seeking peace. Now, what do you think is the, the biggest way Jesus taught us how to do this, how to change the world? What's the easiest way to change the world, do you think? I think the easiest way to change the world is to love one another. Now, it's not always an easy task and it, it's gonna take some discipline and, and a lot of forgiveness because a lot of people make mistakes, me included, each one of us. We all make mistakes at some point in our life and we have to ask for forgiveness. Luckily, Jesus tells us and teaches us that this is what we need to be about and to do. Now, Jesus also said that one of the ways that we love one another is by sharing what we have with other people. So we might share our sandwich with somebody who didn't have one. We might take time to um, comfort somebody who's sad. We might, so we wanna take care of the poor. We wanna take care of the people who have been ignored or treated poorly. Last week we talked about the spirit of friendship and this week what we wanna talk about is the spirit of justice that we need to work together to make this world a better place. And when we see that somebody's not being treated well, we need to either ask uh, an adult to help us or we need to stand together and say, this isn't right and it needs to stop. And sometimes uh, when somebody who, who does this, it's those little acts, those, those little moments that can really change the spirit of this world. And so I, I am hopeful and believe that as we learn to share everything we have with everyone else, we can help create a world that God would want. Um, there's another song I wanted to teach you today called Let There Be Peace on Earth. And I think that's the goal of, of what Jesus is teaching us, what God would want us to do here in the world. We sing this often Christmas Eve, but I think it's appropriate today as we remember Remembrance Day. I don't know if you have your poppies, but if you do, that would be great. So it says, let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. If each of us begins to bring peace on this earth, that's how we're gonna change things. So let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. Let there be peace on earth, the peace that was meant to be. With God, our creator, children all are we let us walk with each other in perfect harmony so it's a beautiful song i hope that you will take time let's see this song as a prayer let's pray to god and lift up our hopes to bring peace here in this world
one of the ways and rituals we can do as a way of remembering both people who have died and sometimes things that people have done that have been really important in this world is through lighting candles. And so some of us can have uh, battery candles at home, which is a really helpful thing. I do not want you to light candles without your parents around. Um, so make sure you ask them for help. But if you have a candle at home, you might consider lighting it. Lighting it and taking time to pray as you focus on that flame and remember the people who have gone before us who have ensured that we live in a, a country where, where we are free, where we don't walk around out of fear of something bad happening all of the time. We do need to be careful still, but at least we are able to walk freely and, and to, to move about and go about our business in safety, generally speaking. Um, and at Roberts and Wesley, we try to be a very safe and welcoming place for all people so that they know that they are loved and cared for. So this week, I want you to take time to remember. Maybe ask your grandparents if you have some or some of the elders in our church. Some of you were connected up with people in the church. Maybe ask them about what it was like during the time of war or what, what it was like afterwards, if they knew someone or whether they actually um, participated in wars. Let's, let's take some time to hear the stories. One of the ways we can appreciate and love the sacrifices that others made is by listening to them. Um, so just let them know how important they are and take time to remember. That's what this is about this week. So. We're going to end our time in a time of prayer and prayer can be an act of remembrance where we remember people. So find yourself a comfortable position and let's pray. Dear God, we thank you today for the place that we live, that we, for the most part, have everything we need. We have a house, a home. We have people who love us. We have food to feed us. Many of us have furry and special pets that bring us love and care as well. Help us to remember today that we need to care for others. Help us to do as you would want us to do here on earth, which is to bring peace where everyone feels loved and cared for and that they belong. This happens through all of our decisions. We each have a part to play and can make a difference in this world. And so we thank you, God, for this time where we get to come and worship together. We thank you for taking care of our family and friends and our pets. We give thanks this day for all the people who fought in wars, for people who lost their life, for people who have lost loved ones. We want to give thanks for this great gift that they have provided us with. And may we continue to use this gift wisely in the world, making the world a better place for all people. This we pray in Jesus' name who taught us to pray. Our creator who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Friends, go in peace and know that you are not alone, that God is always walking with you. I miss you all and I hope to see you soon. And if you get a chance to watch the service today, I hope you will. And I hope you will join us in an act of remembrance. Take care. We'll see you next week. Bye.